women suffer just as much with Fabrace as men. True, we have some enzymes, but the pain and the end result it is still the same. A female has two X chromosomes, and in the great majority of cases, the mutation is only one of the two X chromosomes, which means that females have a normal X chromosome and they have an abnormal one. While the, the mixture between the normal and the abnormal can cause a tremendous variation in the clinical presentation. I think I could live with everything else, the headaches, the gastrointestinal side of Fabrase, the even the kidney pain I, I could live with, but the hands and feet, I just, that for me is the worst thing. When my daughter had Fabre, when we were just carriers, so every time I would see her growing up with like little aches and pains, Michelle, suck it up. Suck it up, Michelle, let's go, you know, because I didn't really realize. I. I didn't feel good, so she doesn't feel good, but I never pertained it to February because we were just carriers. But then my grandson came along, and then we were more educated with the Fabrays, and we have Fabrays, and now he has Fabrays. Some call them carriers. I, I don't necessarily like that term because, in fact, in my belief, if you ask the right questions and are very careful in your assessment, you'll find that there is involvement in some fashion in almost every patient who has a mutation. And I think the perception needs to change because Fabrase is Fabrase. It's not Fabrase for men or Fabrase for women. But the question is, what is the severity of the disease presentation? What organs are going to be involved? How soon will they be involved? What's, what's the presentation in terms of the, the patient themselves? I am affected with the heart and the circulatory system and my sisters are very bad. My one sister's had two open heart surgeries, she's the baby, and her kidneys are failing. The other sister is affected by the brain and heart. When I was uh, having a lot of symptoms before I was diagnosed, uh, one night I went to the emergency room uh, with a lot of pain. I just couldn't stand it. It lasted for, for several hours. And the ER uh, doctor told me that I needed therapy because people with emotional problems end up in the ER in the middle of the night like me. The hardest thing for me living with Fabry is the fact that it's a new disease. It's the fact that a lot of doctors are not familiar with it. It's the fact when you tell people I have Fabry, no one knows anything about it. Don't let a doctor tell you it's in your head, it's your nerves, it's something trivial. Listen to your body. They go through a whole series of missteps, misadventures, misdirections. They end up with diagnoses of things like rec restless leg syndrome, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia. And I still remember to this day that the doctor finally in my late 30s said something right or asked me the right question about pain and I, because I would always say, no, nope, no pain, no pain. And then he asked me just right and I was like, well, yeah, everybody has pain when they have a fever. And he just looked at me and was like, no. I grew up without knowing that I have Fabre, so I was expected to uh, perform or to do the things that I'm supposed to do. And it's the same, same things that I expect from my daughter. My daughter has Fabrays. My daughter. My daughter has Fabray. Hi, my name is Emily. I'm eight years old, and when I grow up, I want to be a paleontologist. I'm concerned about her future, um, her children, and their children in the future. Fabray is hard because it affects on stuff when you're doing something. It's like you can't focus on it. It's hard. It's interfering with her schoolwork, with some of her activities, um, with sleeping. I tell every one of my patients that, you know, we are on a, a diagnostic and a therapeutic voyage, and you're part of this process. And I would tell you that patients are very enthused, very engaged, very involved at that level. They want to be part of the process. They want to understand the disease, and it's always, this is for my kids. I know that I have this, I've had it, it's, you know, the damage is done. But if we can do something that will benefit my children, that's where I want to be.